Hi, this is Abhimanyu from BIMSurf. BIMSurf provides comprehensive BIM and CAD outsourcing services, supporting clients through all stages, from concept to construction. BIMSurf integrates with your design process to form a virtual studio. BIMSurf delivers entire suite of services, from Revit modeling and detailing, to clash detection, quantity takeoff, and 5D modeling. In this tutorial, we learn how to import and use DWF files in Revit. This way I can review all the changes and suggestions given during the review process and make changes accordingly. I have a Revit file open here and I had exported DWF from this file for review. Export process has been described in the previous tutorial. Now I'll import the DWF file and see the markups and changes that have been requested. Let's switch to this insert tab and then select DWF markups from this link panel. I'll now select this DWFX file. The dialog box that opens up indicates that the markups are on two different sheets. I'm now going to select the ground floor plan for first. These markups are visible in the sheet now. Let's zoom into these markups. Click to check its properties. In the properties palette, here under identity data, you can see that the status is none. When I start making changes, I can add notes to the markup and check the history as to who did the markup and who all made changes in the process. Now, here in the grayed out section, the label shows us what text was written in the markup. Other than history, this section also gives us the creator name and the time and date of creation and modification. We cannot make changes to it, but we do get information of the markup. Now let's check out other markup. Notice that the status is none for this one as well. If I click on the status drop down, I get three options, question, for review and done. Let's change the status to done for now, assuming I made all the necessary required changes. Now let's import the other sheet. I'll go back to the insert tab and then select DWF markup once again. This time in the dialog box, I'll select the first floor. First floor plan opens up now. The plan shows us first floor markups. As I zoom in and click on the markup, notice that it has similar properties. Now. Let's select this dimension. In the type selector, it shows that it is a dimension markup. The status for this one as well is none, and the label shows the dimension of the window. This ends the tutorial on importing and using DWF markups in Revit.